What's up guys, Bloodshed here, bringing you the Barbarian starter build for Diablo 3 Season 14. This is like a survival guide, we take you from like zero to hero, talk about early game blood shard recommendations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blood shards? Early game? What do you mean blood? What do you mean, what do you mean? Well, this is what I mean right here. If you, if you don't do your challenge rift, right? The challenge rift is going to reset on the 11th, so next week. If you don't do your challenge rift, you can actually claim it during the season and get a little boost to materials. So this is what the challenge rift bag looks like, right? So the strategy is make a seasonal character, then do your challenge rift for the week, which is would be Friday, and then claim the bag on your new seasonal character. And um, this is what you get. So you get DBs right away. You can actually cube something if you go run and get the cube. It's not really advised you get the cube right away. Um, but the items that you get, um, if you roll at level one, right, you're going to be a fresh level one. There's a benefit. Um, it limits the RNG that you can get. It lowers the item pool. Every time you go up in levels, the item pool gets bigger and bigger and bigger till 70. So if you roll at level one, there's some ways to take advantage of that. So roll blood shards at level one, and I'm going to give you some recommendations what to do so. But make sure you do your challenge drift and claim it right away. That way you can roll early. You get your gold. You get materials and um, you get those DBs. So you can actually unlock your blacksmith everything at level one, okay? So this is a list of level one items for a barbarian, okay? I would recommend you guys roll bracers because if you land a legendary, it's gonna be um, a seismic slam multiplier or a hammer of the ancients multiplier. Both are up to 500% and like we were saying, you can cube them or you can just wear them the whole way. And then the whole time you're playing the game, as soon as you hit level 16, you'll be having this multiplier with you and at level 70 or when you get your four piece and your six piece you'll be able to just dominate the whole game the rest of the season right it's just a really good start you can use this strategy to take advantage of things like last season we used loot socks for barbarian you can also grab this girdle of giants if you're rolling and you get something then you can go for belts and you can get the seismic slam belt you can also roll for rings if you get lucky and get the band of might. So even after you hit 70 and you have some blood shards and you're like, man, I really need a band of might, just make a level one barb alt and roll blood shards on it. You can't really wear it, but you can actually put it in the cube and boom, 80% multiplier early, early season. So take advantage of this system. It's muy importante. Okay, so so you just ding 70 on barbarian. Make sure to like make items right if you don't have like a 70 weapon make sure to build one out you can make a two-handed mace it has like the highest damage range it's really really good um, you can also make a two-handed mighty weapon and get life per fury you can see I, I rolled life per fury on the weapon it'll help you not with the four piece set but with the six piece set so keep that in mind maximum fury is good life per fury is good you also want to make sure you make a mighty belt you can get life per fury on that okay these are key stats for barbs that'll keep us alive late game with the four piece, right, you're gonna get the four piece almost immediately with Hadrig. that's no problem. All you're gonna be doing is charging and things will die and we're gonna demonstrate that here in the video. But make sure you your gear has strength, vitality, double crit if you can get it. Um, you can even craft rings at Shen. He has, I think it is uh, for level 70, it's only two marquee gems and gold. You should have, you know, 4.7 million gold or whatever from the Hadrig bag amulets it uses some gems it is a season of greed so you might get a double gem goblin right away and boom you're crafting yellows and things like that you would only craft this stuff if you don't have double crit or just like really optimized gear like even this is fine just you want double main stat everywhere double main stats totally fine you don't need to go too crazy barb is broken just make sure that you have a decent setup that way it'll you'll be more effective overall all right so nothing beneficial in the cube right um, all baseline marquee gems for testing, no paragon whatsoever. So let's show you how ridiculously strong the Barbarian is with just the four piece set. This is by far the best start of the season. Um, let's do a GR20 to simulate. This is, we don't have the six piece, right? We just have the four piece. Let's do a 20 to simulate it, okay? This is the calm before the storm. I hope you guys are ready. I'm gonna pop Berserker Rage. Um, another another break point I didn't mention is you want 20% cooldown or 40% cooldown. Look at this. Ridiculous. 20% cooldown or 40%. It's almost like you do too much damage. I'm not going to grab any damage pylons here. But you can see the power of the Seshiron gods crushing down on their enemies. <laughs> we can run through the set as well if you guys are unfamiliar with it. 
The two-piece um, a furious charge refunds a charge if you only hit one enemy. So when you're fighting the Rift Guardian, boom, 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 you're getting all your charges back. Uh, the four-piece gives you that thousand percent multiplier. That's why we're doing so much damage. The six-piece bonus, okay, you build up five charges and then you empty out your Furia bar and you do a big attack. So there's two things you can use. You can use Boulder Toss or you can use um, Seismic Slam rumble that's what we're going to be using seismic slam rumble so you can see you want to use physical on your bracers for that but you can also use ancient spear boulder toss if you want or if you get the bracers that pair with boulder toss that might be good charge five times everything still dies dies with charges by the way and then empty out your fury so when you're emptying out your fury bar you're also healing and that's where the maximum fury comes in the life per fury as well so keep that in mind let's switch to the six piece set so six piece set with literally nothing else in the cube just the six piece and the yellow gear we're going to jump into t7 okay so t7 instantly is really no difference let's go ahead dominates everything you just just charge with your face just face charge everything <laughs> so at the bare minimum i have no legendary gems nothing in the cube at the bare minimum you'll be on t7 and um I was just farming away, just instantly farming, filling out your gear. We'll have links to all the push builds, all the um, speed farm builds, everything like that. Will be in the description will just be like your written guide, I guess. And um, this is like the video is like just me explaining and giving you a visual aid for everything. So again, not even using seismic slam, just charging is plenty of damage. And then you drop seismic slam, kill everything instantly. And yeah, just go through the road. That's why cooldown is really important. So, but you don't need that much. It's just nice to have seismic slam to kill elites. That's pretty much it. Just use your seismic slam to kill elites and use the charge to get through the rift. Enjoy having a godlike start next next season. But let's get into more recommendations. This will be down below in the description. Also, this is like your first push build. This is an IK Raycor seismic slam push build. This will probably be where you're at. Um, the kind of gear that you'll have early game and we'll put the speed version you can actually use this as the speed version i would just pop in nems for it again the description will have all this stuff but basically it's the same concept you charge 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 and then empty out your fury bar to not only heal yourself sometimes you have to do it early to heal yourself the first gem you get in case you guys don't know is bane of the powerful every single season this is one of the best like all around gems for speed farming that you pretty much would use the whole season so the first GR you complete, you're gonna get this. It's a very good thing. So if you have like two keys, I'd maybe even do a GR1 or a GR10 just to get it and then jump into your GR20 clear or do your 20, get this and start leveling it up right away. Okay, it's super important just to get this right away. It's just and it's free damage, it's just free damage. Also, um, make sure you're there for the mouth heal kill. You have to do bounties to get your six piece bonus. So just make sure you're there for the mouth heal kill. Um, because you get your reaper's wraps and you can actually use that early game as well especially if you don't have parthens or nems or anything like that they're kind of nice to have just for that extra resource and again the bounty bag will give you the materials so you'll be able to craft some that's it man barb is chill all right this is this is the this was cake the first one we got out the way easy peasy squeezy follow me up above at twitch.tv slash bloodshed i stream there six days a week we're gonna go hard on seasonal launch we're gonna do like a 26 plus hour stream we only get three or four seasonal launches a year, and I love every minute of it, man. It's so much fun. Um, subscribe down below if you're new for more videos. We're going to do all the classes. I don't know what order I'm going to do them in, but um, you'll be seeing them. Pretty much it's just going to be like a week of constant content. We go crazy, kill ourselves, and then we just kick back when the season starts and play the game. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Big shout out to the patrons. Who, who support the channel. This is why I get to do this, because of the patrons and the Twitch subs. It's why I get to be here constantly for years and years making content. Thank you for my little blood heart. I appreciate you. This is The Bloodshed. I'm out of here. Peace.